and welcome to Logic ERP. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with the latest videos. In this video, we are going to discuss about how multiple views can be configured in Logic ERP software. It works in every billing as well as reporting window. Let's start with the sale bill window. To enable or disable any column or field in billing screen, you can go to sale voucher configuration. Under other setting one, you will find columns locks that allows you to do so. You just have to simply tick or untick on the respective column. After saving the settings, go back to sale bill window and refresh by clicking on new bill. You may observe now that the unlocked column has been displayed here. Similarly, you can add any option or remove any option from the column locks. You can also add or remove columns in billing form. Just click on column attribute option. You can see here that all the columns which is required in the time of billing is available here. Let's remove company name column in billing form. Here you can see company name has been removed. Similarly, let's add a shade name column in it. Now, you can see here shade name column has been added. Just like that, you can add, remove and rearrange column as per your requirement. Similarly, you can also configure reports according to your choice. Just click on configuration and here you can change the view of the report by selecting the option according to you. Then click on OK and save configuration. Here you can see that the report has been created according to the configuration we have set. Like billing, we can also add or remove columns in report also. Just go to column attribute. Let us add bill date column in report. Select bill date column. Click on save button and then click on yes. Press F2 to refresh the report. Here you can see bill date column has been added to report. Now, let's remove the column of the units per pack. Again, go to the option of column attributes. Untick the column unit per pack. Click on save button and then click on yes. Press F2 to refresh the report. Now you can see unit per pack option has been removed. You can also arrange the columns accordingly. Click on selected items only, then select the column whose position you want to change. You can use this up and down button to change the column position. Similarly, you can configure different reports by yourself in the software. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe.